Do you run a multi-site network on WordPress? In this video, I'll show you how to easily configure your SEO for all the sites in your multi-site network. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the All-in-One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're gonna to wanna to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're gonna to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're gonna go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the install now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says activate plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO setup wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're gonna head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com account, make sure you're on the downloads tab, and then next to where it says license key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're gonna paste the license key into the license key field, click connect, and that's it. All-in-one SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you wanna be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue save changes button. And then we're gonna scroll up and click on the dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So if you run a multi-site network, you know that there's a difference between the dashboard of your website and then the network admin dashboard. So that's where we're going to need to be to see these options in All-in-One SEO. Right now, I'm on the regular dashboard of my WordPress site. And if I hover over the All-in-One SEO menu, we see the options that you have on a normal WordPress website. So the first step is to head over to the My Sites menu item up top. And then under Network Admin, I want to click on Dashboard. And now that we're in the network admin dashboard, if I go over to the all-in-one SEO menu, we have a different set of options. So I'm gonna to go to the first one, which is network settings. So the first thing we see is a spot for the license key. I've already activated all-in-one SEO pro on this site, so that's active. And then if we scroll down to where it says domain activations, we see a notice here that's telling us that by default, the license key is activated on the primary domain for this network. That's this one called AIO SEO dash demo two and that I can activate the license key on additional sites below. So I have three sites in this multi-site network, and if I wanna activate all-in-one SEO on one of the other sites, I simply hover over it and click on activate. And then the deactivate, it's the same thing, hover over and click deactivate. So I'm gonna leave that one deactivated and activate multi-site three. And that's it. It's very simple to activate and deactivate sites and manage those licenses all from this one screen of network settings in All-in-One SEO. So if we head back over to the menu on the left, I'm going to click on Network Tools. And here you'll see we have three tabs up top, the Robots.txt Editor, Import, Export, and Database Tools. I'm going to start with the Robots.txt Editor tab. The cool thing about this feature is that you can manage the robots txt file for all of your sites in your network from this one screen so right now it's showing me the network admin there's no site here but if i click that drop down there are three sites in my multi-site network and i can access and edit the robots.txt file for all of them from this one screen so i'm going to start with the first one and then if we scroll down we can see we have the exact same functionality that we have in all-in-one seo for a single site we have another video on how to edit that robots.txt file, but while we're in here, let's just go ahead and enable custom robots.txt. We'll say for the user agent, I wanna select all agents and I wanna disallow access to, let's say we have a directory called employees that I don't want to be indexed. And if we look at the preview down below, we can see that 
employees has been disallowed. If I click the big blue save changes button, that change will be made. So again, you can do this with our regular robots.txt editor and all in one SEO. But if you have a multi-site network enabled, you can access all of those robots.txt files from one location. So if I go back up to the drop down and select the second site, now I have the robots.txt file for that site, which does not have disallow employees because it's its own robots file. Okay, so now we're going to scroll back up and click on the Import Export tab. This is where you can import or export all-in-one SEO settings from one site to another. So let's start over on the export side. Click on the drop-down where it says Select Site, and we're going to take my main site and export those settings, and then I'm going to import them into the site called Multi-Site 2. So I'll start with my main site. You can select which settings you are going to import or export, in this case export, at a pretty granular level. I'm going to export all of the settings, and I'm going to export all post types as well. I'll go ahead and click the blue Export Settings button, and my settings have been exported as a JSON file. So if I then go to the other side, I'm going to import those settings to Multisite 2. I'm going to go ahead and click Choose File, and I'm going to select that JSON file that I just exported. And then I'm going to click the Import button and I get a message telling me that it's a success. So those settings have now been imported. You can also import settings from other plugins. Again, you would pick the site you want to import to, and then if we had Rank Math SEO or Yoast, you could import from there and convert your site over to all-in-one SEO. And then we can just back up our settings. So if I really like the way I have all-in-one SEO set up on my main site, I could just go ahead and create a backup of those settings. So this way, if I make a whole bunch of changes in the future and I don't like the way things are going, I can always revert to that backup. And right here, if I click the green arrow, I can restore that. Or I can trash it if I don't want to save it anymore. All right, I'm just going to close my little download window here and then scroll back up. And now we're going to click on the Database Tools tab. So on the Database Tools tab, I can select one of my sites. I'm going to select the second site here. And I can select some all-in-one SEO settings that I want to reset. So this could be very useful if I had imported my settings from my main site to my second site, but I have a different social media presence on my second site. So I want to have all the same all-in-one SEO settings copied over, but I want to basically erase the social network settings. So I'm going to select that checkbox, and I'm going to choose to reset those selected settings to the default by clicking that button. And then you get a warning here just prompting you to make sure you have a backup of that before you do this because you cannot undo this selection. So I'm going to say yes, I have a backup, and I want to reset the settings. All right, so let's head back over to the menu on the left and click on Feature Manager. So these are all of the features available with All-in-One SEO, and this is the panel where you can activate or deactivate all of them. So I can click this big blue button and activate all the features or I can click this other button and deactivate all of the features, or I can one by one activate or deactivate the features. And from this panel, unlike the panel when you're in your regular all-in-one SEO, this is a network-wide change, which means it's going to affect all of the sites in your network. So if I click yes here, I am activating Redirection Manager for all three sites in my network. I'm going to say yes, process this network change. And now Redirection Manager has been activated across all the sites in my multi-site network. Same thing applies for all of the other all-in-one SEO features. And then if I head back on over to the all-in-one SEO menu on the left, there's one last option that says About Us. I'm going to click on that. And this just gives you some information about the team behind all-in-one SEO and some of our other plugins. We click on the Getting Started tab up top. There's a whole bunch of information here on getting you started using the all-in-one SEO plugin. So that's how to easily set up SEO for all the sites in your multi-site network. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to do an SEO analysis of your competitors' websites. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.